Hi guys, welcome to my channel. If you're new, please subscribe. So I created a corally, shimmery, smoky wing eye look using the Tarte Full Bloom eyeshadow palette. And if you wanna see how I got this look, then just keep watching. Apply these e.l.f. stickers. Blending brush, this is a Morphe JH32. And I'm gonna go in with the shade Fresh Pick. It's like an orange tone transition shade. And I'm gonna blend that into my crease. Morphing up the crease area. It's gonna take a little bit of the pink shade Peony. Just blend that in there just to get the crease a little bit of pink. Any brown eyeliner, this is Dose of Colors in the shade Sketch. But you can really use any eyeliner. You can even use a eyebrow pencil. I'm gonna sharpen it with the sharpener that comes with the pencil. Like that, it's a little bit sharper. I'm going to create a wing. I'm gonna take like an eyeliner brush. This is an L1, it's probably a lip brush. It's a mirror out. Smoke out that eyeliner. I feel like these trends with the smoked eyeliner are so trending right now and I love it. It makes me nervous because it's really hard to get to match on both eyes and you just have to have like, you know, the right eyeliner. Just a lot of combinations have to go to play when you do this. I'm actually turning out more black than I wanted, but that's okay. So right when you get the smoked out like this, this is when you can start to bring in shadow. So like, I wanna smoke it out like up here. There we go. A bit generous. It's an orangey tone, orange tone, dark brown. And with a Morphe M507-2, the eyeliner low and the eyeliner. and then start blending towards those edges. See that? See how you're seeing the brown come through? I love gradients, I love it. I'm just gonna blend this back and forth just like that. Trying to not get patchy. This is getting a little patchy. The same brush, but this time I'm gonna take the shade Independent, which is above it. It's like a orange tone brown. And now I'm going to pat this more towards the center of the eye. So that way, see that? See how the black will just come through? It's supposed to be brown, but it looks black. Just like that. It doesn't really look like a smoked out wing anymore, but that's kind of how I want it, like that. Just taking like one of the glitter shades in the palette. So I'm gonna go with the shade Floral. It's like a shimmer with my finger. And just do like a really subtle, like on top, Shimmer. Like nothing too crazy, just something that's gonna like, you know. Just like that. 
cutting on top and then just blending it out. Bring it up into the crease. And just like that. That is so pretty. I'm gonna take this off. Yes, but I did take off some of my foundation. And there's some fallout. Happened, just gonna take a brush and brush out all the fallout. My concealer sponge, and I'm just gonna pat along. You know, there's nothing like really missing there. Shade Independent down there, that orange tone brown. And I'm gonna blend that into my lower lash line. I want to balance the warmth tones in the top and in the bottom. And this is just a crease brush. There's no brand on it. I'm going to go with a little bit of floral. Really add some extra sparkle. I'm going to apply that brown eyeliner to my bottom waterline. I think you can kind of tell that it's still brown and not black. Now that I'm putting in my waterline and comparing it, I'm going to apply some of Becca Winston highlight to my inner corner. This is my favorite inner corner highlight. I'm going to apply some mascara. To apply Ardell Demi Wispies, and I'll be right back. And that completes this look. Thanks so much for watching and please subscribe.